Just a young girl with a quick fuse. I was uptight, wanna let loose. I was dreaming of bigger things and wanna leave my old life behind. Not a yes sir, not a follow up. What is up, y'all? This is Woody from Woody's Real Time Fishing, and um, I know y'all saw my video from uh, St. Augustine, Florida, and I caught a pompano. So I'm about to do a. Um, I'm gonna already show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all the catch, and I'm about to uh, clean it and show y'all what I did to cook it. Basically, I'm gonna bake it. So first thing we need is a pompano. Maybe my pompano. Oh, there it is. I think it's my pompano. Yes, sir. That's my pompano. I set the drag. That's my pompano right there. I'm not missing him. I got my drag set. I just saw him come up. That's all I want today is a pompano. So I can put him in the oven. Ooh, good old clam. Tough. Don't run away from me, baby. Coming in nice and smooth. Okay, he's getting close. He's gonna start running now. I know he is. Jesus. He's gonna start running. I'm not trying to force it either. There you go. I'm not trying to force this. He's trying to shake it out of his mouth. Uh, I'm bringing him to the I'm bring him to the rocks. I'm not losing him. Well, if he do fall, he can fall in the dang rocks. I can get him like that. I don't want him going in the rocks either. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. Whew. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. That's all I wanted. Pompano. Where is the pompano? Okay, we got ourselves a pompano. Now let's go. Let me go ahead and clean it because I don't want no blood. But uh, basically, I'm gonna cut around the head. I'm gonna cut the head off and just clean the guts out. No need and cut the tail off. No need to scale up pompano because they don't have scales. So I'm gonna leave the skin on it. So give me one second. Okay, y'all, I am back again. And uh, basically, what I did was cut the head off and clean the guts. Out the ins from the inside YouTube is funny about guts and blood so I didn't show that and in the head portion of the of the uh, pompano I took out a little chunk of meat I'm going to bake that as well but what I do with my pompano is I'm going to cut make three incisions right here one two three then we'll flip it over and do it on the other side so let me do that real quick okay now, as you see, what I did, like I said, I was going to cut three incisions, so I cut one, cut two, and three on that side, and three on this side. This is so I can get the, put the seasoning on, and the seasoning will get inside the meat, and when it's finished baking, I can easily just pull, peel the skin off and eat the meat. And I uh, just got this and laid this aside, but for my seasoning, I put, easily put a lot of this beer can, Weber. Uh, beer can seasoning on my fish and today I was in the seasoning I found what I, this is what I've been looking for Everglades fish and chicken I'm not gonna use a lot but I'm gonna put some of this on it as well and uh, then we're gonna put it in the oven so let me go ahead and season it okay now I got my fish seasoned real good there right there there and got the little piece of meat I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up fully in the foil, then put it in the oven for like, let's see, 45, 
uh, minutes on like 350 and then I'm gonna go ahead and, and show you what it looks after that so I'm gonna wrap this up fully in the foil all right the fish is in the foil time to put in the oven let me turn it on this way that way it's easier for me to take the foil off and that will hold all the flavors inside the foil nothing will be dripping and it'll get through the, all the meat let's go put it in the oven well here goes the unrevealing of the pompanoli everybody it's been 45 minutes here it is. See all the juices right there? Good and cooked. Now, when y'all get all the meat off of one side of the one side of the pompano, you gotta. It's gonna look like that. Then what you gotta do is uh, you gotta flip the pompano over to get the rest of the meat off of it. Then do the same for the next side. You know, sometimes just get the skin off right there. Just get the meat off. The meat just comes out in big chunks. See? Until you see a bone. Now that you have your um, popno cooked, you get a big chunk with no bones. I should eat the whole thing. Tastes great with all the seasoning you want to use. You can use any season, but you won't regret it. Thanks for watching. Talk to y'all later. Well, rest in peace, Pompano. It's no more just skin and bones. That's all that's left, just skin and bones. Nothing but stacks of Pompano meat. That's it. Stacks of pompano meat.